Alright, so today I thought we'd have a quick look at this Solomon Grundy figure. Now Solomon Grundy was actually one of the first ever big figures that I made. My first one was a Red Hulk, second one was a Grey Hulk, and then naturally I was like, you know what, this Grey Hulk could be turned into a Solomon Grundy. Now I do actually have some old videos that show these figures, but they're pretty old now, and a lot of people seem to think with the Red Hulk and the Grey Hulk that they were just me claiming that I'd made them, and they were actually the uh, D-Cool bootleg versions, but that actually wasn't the case. If you actually look at the dates on those videos, they actually came out before the bootleg companies started making the Hulk big figures, and so, I don't know, but some people just don't read the descriptions and stuff, I guess. But I thought I'd show you this one anyway, because it's one I've been making the whole time since. Like, I always sell it. It's one of my cheapest figures, because it's one of the easiest to make, so... Now, I have actually made a different Solomon Grundy figure before in the past, and I was really happy with these ones. I made two of them. I'll just put a picture up now. If you see these, like, I've sculpted the jacket on, and I've given him the chains and stuff. There's just a lot more details, but... Uh, they were quite a pain to make, and... He's not the most popular figure in the world, so I just made those two and then I uh, sold them. I would have liked to make a video on them, but it was ages ago that I had them. And to be honest, until today I forgot I'd even made them and I saw the picture on my Flickr account and I was just like, oh yeah, and that made me decide to review one of these Solomon Grundy figures. And I thought I'd just show you these pictures of them and stuff so you could see them. Now, I am actually going to be making a lot more DC big figures, probably more DC than Marvel at the minute. I'll be making the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's minifigures. And then I've been working on quite a few DC big figures. I've got a Doomsday that I'm going to be getting molded, I think, because it took blooming ages. Like, sculpting all the rocks and stuff on his back, I sculpted each one by hand and carved them out and stuff, and it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. It's based on Injustice rather than the Lego game, but that's only because I actually prefer the look of the Injustice Doomsday to... I, I'm not very keen on the way they did him in the Lego game. It's like with Thanos on the Marvel Lego game. I didn't really like him. I was just like, really? That's your design? You came up with him? But... I don't know, it obviously got approved and stuff, it, they obviously liked it at Lego, and I'm sure a lot of other people like it, but I think Doomsday and Thanos are two characters that can have a lot more detail put in them, and Lego seemed to do them very basic in the games. But anyway, yeah, that's everything for today, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.